Meme review. Welcome everyone to Meme Review, the most esteemed meme review show on the planet. And today we have a very, very special episode. Not just meme of the week, not just meme of the year. Meme of the decade, baby, is happening here. Keep watching and we will crown it. Spoilers, it's Baby Yoda. <laughs> At least that's where I, my vote is going. Meme review. Let's get it right into our first meme. Talking to my ex, hi, what's up? Talking to my Y, hi, what's up? <laughs> this takes very big brain to understand. It's a math joke in case you didn't understand. It's whatever. Talking to my ex, talking to my Y, talking to my ex equals Y. <laughs> okay, that's... Talking to my... Ah! <laughs> talking to my donut? Very nice. But wait, there's more. Talking to my cosign. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Me and the boys getting a tan! Me committing arcsin! That's illegal in at least 54 states. Stop this man. Oh, an arcsin. I see it now. Let's, let me zoom in. Sorry, in case you guys don't get it. <laughs> yeah, it's arcsin. Yeah, that's funny. Laugh! <laughs> Alright, I understand. This meme too complicated for your tiny little brain. Let's dumb it down a bit. You've heard of Xbox now? Get ready for Ybox. <laughs> They named it wrong all this time. It really should be the Y box. It makes you question why you bought it. Speaking of Xbox, have you seen this thing? <laughs> it looked like Square from Tom and Jerry. I swear this is the new way of multi-layer marketing where brands just make their product deliberately goofy looking so people will be like, haha, it looks stupid. Meanwhile, Xbox is like a free marketing baby. Oh yeah, look at these fools. <laughs> I don't understand this one. Why is there two of them? The f oh, here we go. The four horsemen of weirdly shaped 2019 tech. You got the low poly truck. You have the electric shaver. You have the PC with an Xbox logo on it. You have the cheese grater. And you have the headphones that look like that one Pokemon. I'm sold. I don't know about you guys, but I for one am sold on this thing. I swear by the X. God, I swear. I mean, I feel like SpongeBob has to be the meme of the decade almost. But that's just because it's so good. It looked like fridge. I wonder what kind of snack you can get from that Xbox X series. Wow, delicious. Uh, I'm gonna rate this an Xbox because I'm that creative. Thank you, thank you. Uh, moving on to cheating meme. Fellas, I have a very important question to you fellas out there. Y'all taking her back or no? Did you frick him? Yes. Oh my God, what a tough. What a tough question. The answer that would literally take a man's soul from his body. Did you make eye contact with him? <gasps> no! No! You ate my leftovers, did- That fish is getting yeeted into space. You eat my leftovers? Marriage over, Marcia. Those are the rules. I've said it many times, Marcia. Do not touch my leftovers. And do not, I repeat, and do not let anyone else Play with my PlayStation! Are we clear? LOL, I glued hands to my face. Oh, my hands. I can't read. So it was funnier the way I read it. <laughs> Did you vibe with him? Mm. Was it the guy that uses three in one shampoo? Oh, God. Oh. Well, he clearly deserves to frick my wife then. What an absolute alpha. This meme. Zero, it's kind of bad. I don't know. <laughs> All right, while we're in the zone of really stale memes, let me just throw this one in here. I've seen it a couple of times, but I just want to acknowledge it. It's the ape together strong meme. When the school's idiot and the high kid do a product together and it turns out to be good, ape together strong. Netflix joined forces with Nickelodeon to take on Disney. Apes together th strong. Vaccines cause seizures. Apes together still weak. Apes together dumb as f Apes together, literally. <laughs> Final Fantasy 7, hentai found in Osama Bin Laden's 2011 compound. Weeps together, strong. I feel like there has to be better captions to this. These are so stale, my dude. How about this? I got nothing. <laughs> this meme, another zero. How about that? All right, meme of the decade. I know you're waiting for it. Spoilers, it's Baby Yoda. Next, meme. 
So this means have been popping up. I don't know what to call it, but it goes a little something like this. Imagine you have to use your feet to measure something. <laughs> this meme was made by the European gang and not UK. I guess it still makes sense. Thanks, Brexit. <laughs> now nah, this meme makes sense. Imagine having to pay for your ambulance made by countries outside of US gang. Well, maybe the ambulance will actually f***ing come then. Jesus Christ, it's so bad here. Imagine making music and not being able to hear it. This post was made by Wolfgang! Wolfgang gang! Wolfgang gang, get it? Imagine actually needing bullets. This post was made by Scoped Knife Gang. Damn! Imagine having to pay for candy. This post was made by Kidnap Kings Gang. Damn! I don't know which gang I'm in. There's so many great gangs. Imagine not being... It's sort of more and more transition into weaponry. I don't know why it's weird. Imagine not being able to get a headshot every time. This post was made by Guillotine Gang. Well, it clearly wasn't made by Face Gang because those hellas gets freaking heck at headshots every time. Imagine people reading the sh you write. This post was made by the Bad Handwriting Gang. Imagine, guys. Imagine. Imagine freaking dying, LMAO. This post was made by Queen Elizabeth's the second gang. That's a gang I'd be into. Damn, gang. I don't know the queen was in a gang. That makes me kind of concerned. Imagine having to stick a flip flop inside your gun to have it shoot. This post was made by Pump Shotgun Gang. Damn, this is getting aggressive. Imagine having to finger your weapon to do anything. Made by Broken Bottle Gang. Oh shit. Imagine having guns. This was made by our Australia gang. And anywhere in Europe gang. <laughs> Imagine ha- Oh god, oh god. Imagine having your chair stuck to the desk like a child. Post made by loose chair gang. You know I'm in that gang, son. You know I'm in that gang. Post loose chair gang for life. That's what I'm talking about. That's where it's at. Loose chair gang. But can chair do- Imagine giving your gun a hand job before each shot. This pass was made by- Did I- Yeah, I said pass. <laughs> Imagine not being able to launch a 90 kilo object over 300 meters! This post was made by Trebuchet Gang! Trebuchet Gang wins, everyone. Congratulations to Trebuchet Gang. Sometimes I wish I was a trebuchet. It's not fair. Where, where, where? I wish I was taller. Where, where, where? I wish I was born in a country that wasn't poor. Me. Why was I not born like Trebuchet? It's not fair. Oh, what's that? We have a news update from Papis Moria. I can't turn. Good evening, Papi Smoria here. Big news happening, Takeshi69 sentenced to two years in prison. We've been long awaiting for what sense Takeshi69 would get, and he's been ruled 13 months in prison for racketeering charges because he ratted out all his friends. Takeshi69 was sentenced to two years prison after snitching on his gang. That's it? <laughs> That's it? Wait, so he went to prison for snitching? What? That's it. Judge, you're sentenced to two years in prison. We also now have live footage of Takeshi 69s reaction to the sentencing. Here we go. Gave you. Oh. I gave you what you wanted. You don't, you don't give me what I wanted. This is also me when I was born and realized I wasn't a trebuchet. It's like, bruh, SM freaking H. Next, me. The bite of 87? The bite of 87? Is that bite of 87 over there? I don't really follow the lore from Fry Nights at Freddy's, but I know all the time in the first game, the bite of 87 is referenced. And that memeing that has become a meme, thanks to Markiplier, wowee. It is funny though. <laughs> ah, it's on Twitter. I hate Twitter. Was that, that the bite of 87? <laughs> Was that the bite of 87? It must have been. It could have not have been anything else, Markiplier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, step aside, kid. We're in a yeah! <laughs> Was that the bite of 87? <laughs> Ha ha ha!
Who's that? 87? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Mark did it! Congratulations, Markiplier! We finally figured out the 87. Yes, this meme gets... 87? Very... Three, oh, there's one, one more. Two. Three, one, three, two. Bite of 87? Was that the bite of 87? I think so. I think it must have been the bite of 87. Now, for the time that we all wait... Oh, wait, there's one more meme. Next meme. All right, don't be disappointed, all right? But it's literally just this... Uh, this is cat doing the thinking thing. It's doing the processing thing because it looks like it's making that face. Uh, this is supposed to be a GIF, and the joke is that they wasted their time making this GIF. Uh, but I couldn't get the- oh wait, here we go. Alright, it's working. There we go, there you go. Cool, that's pretty cool. When you see an HD version of a popular meme template. Or how about this one? Nice weather today. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, was, was that, that the, the bite of 87? 87? Good evening, I'm Papi Smoria. Returning back again. Important news. Raid Shadow Legends have been overtaken by Flying Gorilla in ratings. Sweet victory at last. Have a great day and smash like on this video. And suck it, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Flying Gorilla, game of year. We don't know what meme of decade this, but we know game of decade. Flying Gorilla, always. Another news, person of the year went to Greta Thunberg. I don't know how to say her name, it's very Swedish. Don't know how to pronounce the stinky language. I, I love this poll that was from, uh, what is that, USA Today. Who should be Times 2019 person of the year? <laughs> nah, nah, uh, uh, it's Greta Thunberg. Uh, we also have a couple bonus memes. Girls, uh, I only had six hours of sleep, I'm so tired, boys. I get it because I play Minecraft. I also like this one because it's true. <laughs> it's the most meta meme of the year. Well done. Well done. And finally, meme of the decade. Vox, the pinnacle of journalism. What is their idea of meme of the decade? Well, they brought up double rainbow. That was a good meme, right? Double rainbow. Yeah, sure. Don't even fucking put that on the list. All right. Meme of the decade has to be something that will go on beyond the decade, right? Don't even fucking bring it up. No one says double rainbow. Rebecca Flack Barday can bling blow my slings long. Fuck you. They put up Coney? It's not even a fucking meme, you dumbasses. Dodge? No one uses dodge, not even ironically. Slender man? No one hit. <laughs> I get it. These are popular memes in their self, in their own little encapsulation, but they are not, I repeat, not worthy. What the fuck is this? On fleek? Fucking die. Look, they even fucking bring up Baby Yoda. Unironically, Baby Yoda. A meme that's lasted, what, three weeks? Meme of decade potential. I, th I think this has meme of decade potential. I don't know about you guys, but I think Baby Yoda has a lot of potential to transpire and like last for another decade. I think so. When I first saw these memes talking about when normies say Baby Yoda should be meme of decade, sounds like I'm like, is not is anyone actually saying that? And I was like, oh god, people actually are. Oh, this is written by the dumbass that uh, <laughs> that wrote an article on me. <laughs> oh my god, the dumb fuckery. How do you get so stupid? This is Pepe the Frog. Yep, easily one of the most iconic memes uh, of the decade and has remained relevant ever since. Uh huh. So he should be meme of the decade. Makes sense to me. So vote for Pepe. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. My vote's for Baby Yoda. I think Baby Yoda. Another fair argument is for the F to pay respect when everyone is voting for meme of the decade or meme of the year, but you made your way into people's language. I think that's a pretty fair point, right? That's what meme of the decade should be. Something that will go on and live on and forever and it will prosper and live greatness. But it seems like doggy wins, so I don't know what to tell you. I don't really care. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs>When everyone's fighting over number one meme of the decade, but no one is going for second place. It's free real estate. I'll take, I'll take like fifth place if I can. When you don't hear your name mentioned for meme of the decade, although you ushered in the meme golden age, punished Harambe, fallen legend. 
No, it cannot go to Harambe. I refuse. Baby Yoda for meme of decade. Normies, the entire meme community. Who's your meme of the decade? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And that's it for me for now. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Meme Review. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey, do. Hey, do. Hey, bro. Do ses vi. Hey, hey. Ah, no, no, video isn't over yet. Okay, okay, okay. That's so, so, so important. Super important. Me and my says clothing brand Suki has done a collaboration with Gelato Piquet. It's a Japanese brand that we really like. You can check it out at gelatopiquet.us. Uh, we designed our own pyjama and the fabric is amazing. It's so comfy. I'm super happy how they turn out. Uh, so if you're interested in that, check it out. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.